That'll get to me good. Stop it! Would it be as beloved to your children if it were Harriet Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? You know, I don't know. I like to think that it would. I like to think that the story was told well enough and interesting enough. What made it a phenomenon had nothing to do with the sex of the character. It was all about how good the story was. And had it been traded around, it would have been basically the same story and would not have been bad in that way. And would not have made boys go, I'm not going to read this. This is about a girl. I mean, boys, I don't know how many boys and what the breakup of it is, but you talk about the Hunger Games girl character what i was thinking of was the wizard of oz because we mentioned that a couple episodes ago female protagonist or whatever but you know as a kid that never bothered me and the singing certainly never bothered me when she sang somewhere over the rainbow it was as powerful as when luke looks out at the double sunset in star wars despite the the genders involved uh, little mermaid you didn't want to go see little mermaid but not because it had a female protagonist, but because it was a cartoon you thought you were too old for it. When you right. saw it, you loved it just as much as I did, just yeah. as much. I would think just as much as a girl our age would have loved it. God, I just – I hate that my childhood and my adolescence and all that was so friggin' woman-free because I would love to know what, you know, my sixth grade girlfriend thought of The Little Mermaid or, or you know, my junior and high school girlfriend thought and, and all that stuff. Because these would be interesting things where I could remember and say, you know what? She loved Aladdin and I loved Little Mermaid and the genders were, you know, wrong on those. You know, I, I, I just don't know. The, the whole princess thing, the Disney princess thing is a brand within a brand and they'll take people that aren't, like Mulan, that aren't princesses. How is Mulan a princess? She was a commoner, for goodness sake. And she married a guy who was also not a prince, so never became a princess later either. But I think to them, they have distorted the word princess to mean Disney heroine. And maybe because of drugs, the word heroine no longer <laughs> has favor. But it's just, I, I as the years go on and we try to... Are you having a stroke, by the way? What? You keep making these goofy faces. Is your eye twitching or something? It is twitching. You keep talking and then going... I'm sorry, man. It in the middle, st- to the point where I'm starting to wonder if you're having a stroke. Are you having a stroke? Thank goodness you- we've recorded that last Dune Steve episode. Are you feeling numb on one side or any headache? Just my ace. And I'm not talking about that kind of a stroke, sir. <laughs> what was I saying? You know, as, as the years have gone by... We've seen certain inequalities in the world, and we've tried to fix them. You know, certain people with a certain skin color were mistreated. Let's try and fix that. Gender inequalities existed. Let's try and fix that. And maybe, you know, there's the next step. Well, obviously, the homosexuality thing would probably be the next step. But the next step after that is just like, you know, it doesn't matter, boy, girl. It doesn't matter. It, you know, if something speaks to you, it speaks to you. There's no shame in that. And the whole Disney princess, the word princess or whatever has a negative connotation for boys or whatever. As fathers, we need to sit down with our sons as well and say, you know, hey, as long as you like it, it, it doesn't matter. It's okay for you to play Barbies with your sister. It's it's all right. There's nothing wrong with that or whatever. You're not bad for doing it. Like, you know, we, we're still in an era where when my nephew picks up my niece's Barbie, he gets yelled at. As if you could catch gayism <laughs> from that or something like that. I mean, that's... Got to nip it in the bud. <laughs> but, you know, just these whole ideas of boys and girls are separate and must be reminded that they're separate and all that. That's got to go. Yeah. We're all one team. It's not us versus them. We're all people. It does seem like that kind of stuff is being pushed more recently than uh, ever before, too. That whole, you like this kind of thing, they like that kind of thing. You better tell them to include that thing in their movie so that you'll watch it with them or else. And, you know, I, I don't have kids. But if I did, you know, there, there are certain things that you would want to express to your, your children 
about judging others or whatever. And, and, you know, for a little while, because things were bad at the hands of white males, white males were the villains. White males were really bad. But at some point, you got to sit your daughter down and say, hey, that snips and snails and puppy dog tails thing is not cool. You know, I mean, a person needs to be judged by their character or by their actions rather than whether they're a boy or a girl. You know, the, the, there was this big hubbub in L.A., about this clothing manufacturer that would put boys are, what was the word? Yucky? Boys are yucky, throw rocks at them. And it was marketed to elementary school girls. And I don't even have words (laughs) for how upset that made me. That anybody could justify that and say that that's okay is one of those things where you're just like, there's no excuse for that, man like slavery, like gay bashing, like opposite of women's suffrage or whatever. There's just right and wrong, and that's wrong. And, and granted, that went away, I think. I mean, I've never seen a kid wearing that, but I do remember seeing it on the news, and I do remember seeing them in the window of a store like Gymboree or, or, or Gap Kids or whatever. Narchi. That was for children's apparel you know, that goes against everything the Care Bears taught. That's right. I, I, I'm sorry. I, that goes I, even against what Munchie Chi taught. Oh, Munchie Chi, Munchie Chi. Oh, so soft and cuddly. Those were the days. I'm sorry. This has been kind of political and kind of lengthy. We're going to do our Aldo episode next, which <laughs> has already aired for whoever's hearing this. And, and, you know, a part of me does worry that somebody's going to be offended by that. But... If you're the kind of person that would get offended by it, then you need to be. People are people, and what matters is whether they're good or bad, and what they do that's good and bad. And so, yeah, I, I don't know what I'll say when we do the Aldo episode, but I'm sure there will be lots of stuff like that of how can there be a world where that's considered okay? So we'll see. But I, I don't know. You, you, I'm going to give you the last word on this topic because, gosh, I talked and talked and talked, and I'm sorry. Sometimes I get all excited because you're my only friend. <laughs> Cue the sad music, Aroi <laughs> And you're the only person that will listen to me rant. Well, I don't know. I, I think your summing up comment that you've already made really summed it up well. So I, I don't want to crap all over that with something lame that I might have to say. So we're, we're going to go ahead and let the folks go and uh, just say thanks for listening. I'm, I'm sure this has gotten pretty long by now. It's an uh, hour and a half by our standards, and that's supposed to be two episodes, which normally gets my goats are supposed to be less than a half hour. So these are going to be long. Maybe we ought to break it up, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Anyways, thanks for listening, folks. Hey, yeah, if you listened all the way, thank you. I'm Rich Outfield. And I'm Big Anglovich. See you later. Be excellent to each other. That's right. Thank you for listening. That gets my goat. That gets my goat is produced under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives license. Very sad. When you need to remind yourself and just have it there, Ron, Hermione, Harry, Lovejoy, etc. Helen Lovejoy or Reverend Lovejoy? <laughs> Isn't there a character named Lovejoy in Harry Potter? But there's somebody, something Lovejoy, Professor Lovejoy. Let me think of a different one then. Um, I wanted to do one that was a little more, but it, the name wouldn't come to mind. Uh, Why don't you just say Dolores Umbridge and we'll move okay. on. Okay.